guys, I'm going to show you a one-click root method for all LETV phones. This includes the LETV1, the LETV1 Pro, the Max, and the newly introduced LETV1 Plus. I've tested on both my devices, the LETV1 and the 1S. I'm going to show you it's got Google Play Store here, and it's got your Super SU root. So, it's got your Super SU root here. All right. So, let's take a look at how to start this up. This once click method, what you want to do is you want to connect your phone up to your computer. For here, I'm using a Windows based computer. And when you connect it up, I'm going to pull this down. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually enable USB debugging. So this is this control here. And it says it's for deep, you know, development purposes only, but you're going to accept that. And that's how you're going to set up this. Next thing up, you're going to go on your computer and you're going to download something called iRoot. So with iRoot, I'm going to put a link down below and you can download that directly and start running that. I'm going to double click this. And I'm going to install my on my computer. Basically, you're going to let iRoot do all the hard work for you. And as you can see here, iRoot supports LETV X500, X600, and so on. All right, so let's click the uh, launch button. So iRoot's going to automatically detect your phone. And what it's going to ask you to do is you're going to add, you allow USB debugging once it pops up. So there's, you see this little menu on your phone that says USB debugging. Click OK and allow this permission. On your computer, you're going to click reconnect and it's going to try to establish the connection. All right, now we're going to wait a bit while this install works. Once this iRoot detects your phone, you can actually directly click the root button. All right. Now this, this is going to do all the hard work for you. You can just ignore every other prompt that's going to be coming on your phone. It's going to download the recovery on your computer. The recovery, what it's going to do is it's going to download TWRP, the Team Win Recovery Project, and it's going to automatically install everything for you. So as you can see right now, I'm not touching anything. It's just going to go through the automated process. The, the phone's going to shut off and it's going to enter fast boot and it's going to automatically install everything. I like to say that even after booting into TWRP, you don't have to do anything, just wait for it. All right, now that the phone's rebooted, we can check that we've got root. As you can see here, we got king root. So this function is exactly like Super SU. If you don't like it, I'm gonna make another tutorial of how to change from king root to Super SU and how to install Google Play. So right now what you got here is you got the full root access and you've also got TWRP installed. To access TWRP, what you want to do is when you boot your phone, press when you click reboot, press the up arrow, up volume up button when you do your reboot and it's going to automatically go into recovery mode and go into TWRP. So let's try that. So you can hold on and power volume up. Let's keep holding it. And you're gonna boot straight into TWRP. I know this is in Chinese um, and there is actually a English mod for it, but I actually just see PCS as unnecessary. There's only a few buttons you wanna click and it's probably just un too much hassle to change. So I'm going to make another tutorial of how to install Google Play Store because that's probably the first thing you really want to install on your phone. So please click that video below. If this helped you, please like and subscribe to my videos. And if you have any issues, please do put them up and I'll try to resolve your issues as much as I can. Thanks for so much for watching.